What's up designers? As you might have gathered by the title today, we are going to be talking about another XD update. Uh, as I've made a similar video in May, I wouldn't typically make another one like this, but uh, because this is such a special update to myself, I've been waiting for this at least for one of the features for years, uh, I just decided to make another one of these videos. Okay, so let's just jump on it. Simply put, this feature will really help UI designers, especially creating uh, complex shapes or icons uh, that require to be resized. So previously, when we would do this, uh, even after converting it to, to a path, uh, once we would want to increase or decrease the size of these shapes, um, the stroke would never really change in proportion to the size. This is fine if you're working for yourself, but if you're working with complex design systems, creating new elements or, 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 or for design guilds or something like that, where other UX designers are going to have access to that, there can be actually a problem. Uh, so at least now it's sorted. Similar to other UI design competitor tools, XD has now caught up uh, with Angular gradients. Although we don't tend to see a lot of these designs like using this type of gradients, uh, it can be actually quite useful on occasion and I personally can't wait uh, to see what the community will come up with using this particular technique. So finally, best for last, this is now my favorite update in a long, long time. As a matter of fact, I've even written to the UXD community features request uh, asking for this particular feature, which is very simply put, inside shadows. Historically, there used to be a way of achieving inside shadows by using a combination of layer masks and uh, uh, layer blur as well, but it used to be such a faff that I, I just used to be doing it in Figma and then exporting in, in SVG. There was a few more basic design features uh, I had requests in the community forum, such as the possibility of creating layers uh, within the filling or stroke option, and uh, the, the possibility of creating gradients as well within the stroke option. I don't think that Adobe has addressed this yet, but hopefully it won't take too long until that happens. Until then, thanks for the update. And that's it, this was quick and easy. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment and all of the good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, see you later guys, bye.